Hello everyone and welcome to the Template Inheritance Code Examples Lecture, where we're going to be coding through the topics we just previously discussed for Template Inheritance. Let's hop over to the editor and get started. Alright, so here I am using the learning underscore templates project we created in the previous coding lecture for this section of the course. Remember that we created this base.html file. Let's show you how you can create some typical looking base.html code and then use it and extend it to the other HTML files we have in this application, such as this index file, other HTML, and then even the relative URL template. Okay, so in all HTML files, you always want to have this line of code be first, and it's doc type HTML. So that always needs to come first in an HTML file. And you can get it easily just by typing HTML and hitting enter. That will always be the first line. No matter what kind of template tags you're using, again, this should always be on line number one. Okay, so let's make sure that we have Bootstrap linked across our entire website. The way to do this easily is instead of having that link in every single .html file, we just put it in the base.html file. I'm going to copy and paste this. Either You can do it either from the notes or from getbootstrap.com. Okay, so there's the link to Bootstrap. There's my href to it. And again, this href could also be a link to a local file underneath templates. You could have CSS and then link it to Bootstrap locally. It's really up to you whether you want to link it online or link it locally. It's a little faster if you link it locally, especially when you begin to deploy your projects. Plus, you can always uh, make sure that you're not dependent on someone else hosting this. All right, now inside this body, let's create a navigation bar. So we do this by calling nav, and I'm going to pass in the classes. And I don't have these memorized, I'm just copying and pasting these from the notes and also from the bootstrap, bootstrap documentation. So I would not expect you to just uh, knowingly know all the classes like I'm typing them here. So feel free to just copy and paste from the notes or type along with me. But the class for the navbar that I'm using is navbar space, navbar default, and then navbar static top. And then I'm going to put this that comes next inside of a container class. And then we'll have an unordered list. And this is the stuff that's actually inside that nav bar. So we'll give this unordered list a class of nav space nav bar dash nav. And then inside this ordered list, I'm going to have list items. There'll be anchor tags and they're going to link to different parts of the page, but these are going to have a class of, and this first one is going to be the actual brand page. So navbar dash brand, and pretty much this always takes you back to the home page. So we won't mess around with the H references right now. We'll set up the template inheritance first, and then we'll come back and review how to do template URLs with these href tags. But inside of this anchor tag, I'm just going to say brand, save that. And then let's create another list item another anchor tag and this and let's actually instead of putting this class in the list item let's put it inside the anchor tag so it's a little cleaner there we go and then this anchor tag is also going to have a class and this class is going to be equal to a navbar dash link class and we'll have this link to the admin page and let's copy and paste this create one more and what we're going to do here is have this link to the other page. Remember, we have that other.html file. Okay, so that all goes inside this container div, and all of that is going inside this navbar. Perfect. And then since we're using Bootstrap, what would be nice is making sure anything else I put in the body is already inside a container, so I don't need to call that. So what I'm going to do is create a div tag that says container. And again, all this sort of styling and classing, that's really gonna be up to you when you're creating your own project, what you think looks good, you test it out on mobile devices, on tablets, see what else looks good, etc. So definitely don't take this as absolutely 100% must do. Really all of this stuff at a certain point becomes your own personal choice and personal styling, depending on what your website's gonna be used for. Okay, so right now I have everything that I want to display across every single page. I want every single page on my website to have this nav bar and have its body contained in a container and have the link to Bootstrap, which means I need to set up my actual template tags that will define this. So we'll call this block 
body underscore block. And then we'll write a comment here. Anything outside of this will be inherit inherited if you extend. Typically you won't have this comment, but I'm just typing in there so you can get an idea. And then finally we want to end the block. So we use end block for this. And if you install some Django plugins for Atom text editor, a lot of the stuff uh, is syntax highlighted and done automatically for you. Okay. So basically what we're saying here is everything outside of this is going to be inherited when we call extend on it. So let's actually practice that. So I will come to my other .html file and this is where it gets really cool. Right now I have a bunch of stuff in this HTML file, but really the only thing that's unique here is the fact that it says welcome to other. So all I need to do is make sure that the doc type HTML code is there. I can delete everything else and then just extend my template. So I will say up here on the second line, extends and then pass in the file path to that template, which is under templates. And then I call basic app slash base.html. And so you note now that I could have various template files as my base template, even across different applications across the templates folder. And I just need to make sure that I call the right one and I extend the right one. That way you're not just limited to the one base.html. Okay, so once we've done the extension there, what I do is call this tag. I call block body block, and this matches basically what I had in base.html, that's this guy. But now, instead of everything being outside, everything's gonna be inside. So this says, welcome to other, and then let's say, this is an example of template inheritance, inheritance. And then finally, I'm gonna close this off with an end block. And that's it. Now this other.html file is ready to go. Key things to note here is doc type always line number one. Then I call the extends on wherever base.html file I'm looking for. Then I call block the body block and then whatever content you want there. And then you can end the block. And that's basically it. You can actually see that now the template tags, when they were confusing at first, when we were first starting to learn Django, now they actually look way cleaner and way more readable than all the other HTML junk we had before. And this is really the power behind template inheritance. So let's do this on another page. For example, our home page, which is index.html. So again, need, I can just get rid of all this other HTML code since that's already taken care of for me. I have doc type HTML. I need to extend from my actual base.html file. So I say extends and then in quotes where it is under the templates file, which in this case it's basic app slash base.html. So you can see you actually don't even need to call it base.html. By convention, it usually is called that, but you could have named this whatever you wanted. Then again, I pass in that body block. So here I call block body underscore block. And the indentation is actually not necessary, but it definitely helps with the readability. So I encourage you to try your best to try to keep formatted and readable code. And then it says, welcome to index. And we'll say something like, this is index.html page showing. Save that. And then since we have that body block, let's end the block. So here we'll call end block. Save that. And now let's actually run this and see what we get. So we'll say Python manage.py or on server, hit enter, make sure we didn't make any mistakes. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and bring it over my browser. And I can see here, I have this nice looking nav bar and it says, welcome to index. This is index.html page showing, perfect. Now let's check out the other page. So that was basic app slash other hit enter, and now it says welcome to other. This is an example of template inheritance. So note, here my website looks really nice and clear. I have this nav bar showing across all the pages. But right now, if I click on these links, nothing's actually happening. Let's use the URL templates that we learned about in the previous lectures of this section to actually map these to different pages. So let's map brand to the home page, admin to the admin page, and then other to the other page. So we'll come back here, 
And this is what we're going to do. We're going to come back to base.html. And up here, where it said href on the brand admin and other, we'll pass in those template tags, those URL templates. So for the brand page, we'll have the index one. And this should feel just like review because we essentially already did all of this in the relative URL templates file. So we'll say URL here, and then just pass in index as a single string for our homepage. Then for href, what I'm going to do is this links to the admin page. So remember I call URL and then admin colon index. And let me make sure I have my quotes in there. So this is all wrapped in single quotes. Remember to be careful with spaces there. And then again, we'll call URL. And in this case, this other page is under my basic app. Remember I had to set that, I had to set that app name variable. And then it's the name other. So let's save this, bring back our browser and refresh. And if I bring it in, now I can click on the things to take me to brand, take me to other, and I can see as I'm clicking on it, it's taking me and it really has the feel of a real website now where there's a nav bar that's taking me to all the pages across the website and it's calling them using that URL template tagging. And if I click on admin, it's gonna take me to the admin page. Now note that the nav bar goes away here because I didn't actually go into uh, admin's uh, HTML file and edit it. And honestly, you shouldn't really be doing that. We'll talk about customizing the Django admin interface, but as far as like styling of the admin and having a nav bar there, that's really not necessary. And that's not really the purpose of the Django administration view. That's more for dealing with your models, but we'll talk about Django admin customization in a future section. Okay, so that's really all we had to cover. Again, the main thing to note here is you'll have a base.html file, Always have this doc type HTML as the first line in your HTML files, no matter if they're base HTML or they're things that are extending that base HTML. But then you have everything you want to be uh, extended across all your pages outside of these two key tags. And that's the block body block and then the end block. You can also have other blocks such as like a head block or whatever you want to call them. And then the relationship between base.html and the other pages is actually very clear. It's essentially just a reverse with one other line. So on other HTML, you get rid of all that HTML besides the doc type, you extend from whatever base.html file you wanna reference. Then you call block, in this case, body block, because we have body block here, and then whatever you want inside of that, end block. And everything outside is going to be extended just like the base HTML here. Hopefully this is a pretty straightforward application of template inheritance. All right. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you at the next lecture.